Bosch is one of the world's largest producers of automotive components and it has been providing technological solutions for over 98 years in India and continues to be a leading provider of mobility services. So here we have with us uh, Mr. Roll, who is the Chief Technology Officer and Joint Managing Director, Bosch Limited. So I have a few questions for you, sir. What do you think uh, are the advanced uh, solutions that Bosch is providing for smarter mobility in India? Look, we as Bosch, we are combining two worlds. The one is the mobility space and the other world is the Internet of Things. And we have a clear vision and mission statement that we want to stay the number one for automotive come mobility system supplier, so not only component supplier but system supplier and we are combining this with the IoT so the Internet of Things and mobility if you think about a car is a big thing that you can combine then with the Internet and uh, we have uh, just to give one one uh, let's say example that is uh, quite prominent and also exciting it's a perfect keyless system that we provide so perfect keyless means uh, indeed you do not have any longer a key but you take what you use normally the first uh, thing you have at hand in the morning uh, your smartphone and you use your smartphone to not only enter your vehicle but also to start the vehicle now the exciting part of that is that this is something that uh, can be used for you individually but it's also very much of use for fleet owners. Yeah. Imagine you can start your vehicle uh, similar like you do a, a banking uh, account transfer with an OTP that you get on your smartphone. So you have a digital fingerprint on your smartphone to start the vehicle and for fleet managers this is a great relief because you don't have the risk anymore to lose keys to uh, let's say uh, make sure that uh, the vehicles or the keys are dispatched right in time but this has been taken care of by such kind of a solution just to name one I think it's uh, really interesting uh, the security solutions and uh, mobility solutions that uh, Bosch is providing what are the steps uh, Bosch is taking for a smooth transition uh, from BS4 to BS6 engines yeah indeed here you touch a very very important point and uh, I must say the uh, policymakers in India, they took a very bold step in leapfrogging from BS4 to BS6 and hence catching up with the technology backlog that was here in India of about 10 years to now no more uh, backlog with regards to powertrain solution in the ICE space. This is a very bold move. It just, uh, let's say, was a little short in time. We only had three years time, the whole industry, to get prepared. And you have to understand that for BS4 vehicle or BS6 to BS4 compared, the effort on the engineering side is three to four times higher. So that is a challenge that the industry has faced. And of course, also the infrastructure has to be provided, be it the uh, uh, ammonia, so uh, the, for, for operating SCR, selective catalytic reduction systems, or also providing the right fuel, uh, which will have a lower sulfur content. But the industry is, uh, to my mind, well prepared. So all the OEMs and uh, most of them, they're locked in with us uh, to get prepared for a PS6 solution, be it on the diesel or be it also on the gasoline side. Uh, we are seeing ourselves well prepared for that move now. I'm very happy that this is happening because it will help tremendously uh, to uh, a sustainable um, mobility. Sustainable comes with me for, let's say, having a solution out in the market that is providing better air quality into Indian areas like cities but also outside of the city. So it's a very good move and I just can encourage the policymakers to take these bold steps with clear and affirmative roadmaps for policy. Yes, definitely. I mean, for uh, it's a great solution for uh, energy usage and climate change. Can you please share your thoughts about uh, the hybridization uh, solutions that uh, are being provided by Bosch? Yeah, happy to share that. I think that um, a hybrid solution for a passenger car, for example, is a very good, not only bridging technology, but we are very much convinced that hybrid technology are uh, going to come and are going to stay. So if we speak about the electrified powertrain, 
we should not only limit that to a purely battery electric vehicle. But a hybrid vehicle is providing a very good solution, a very good solution in multiple regards. So for the OEM, he has the opportunity to combine two things, so electrified with ICE, uh, coping hence with uh, hopefully also stricter norms related to CAFE or CO2. And CO2 is of course a big contributor uh, to the climate the change that we all experience and India is number three or number four in the contributors, so a lot to do here. And hybrid uh, is a solution to help to improve that situation uh, dra dramatically. And for the, um, uh, and for the um, consumer, it's um, an experience that he can gain for driving a, uh, let's say, electrified car. Because these type of vehicles, normally what they offer, they offer crawling solutions. So when you park your vehicle, for example, you will experience a fully, um, a fully electrified solution. But also you can have solutions which are going towards strong hybrids where you can fully drive electrically for, let's say, up to 50 kilometers. So here we have with us Mr. Sandeep, Vice President Sales, Bosch Limited India. Please tell us about the vision of future mobility in India. I think the uh, vision of uh, future mobility would be uh, emission-free, accident-free and fascinating, if you have to summarize that in three short words. What are the technologies uh, designed for two-wheelers? Uh, well, in, in two-wheelers, we are uh, basically looking at uh, at four pillars of, uh, of uh, technology development, uh, which is PACE, PACE, where you have personalization, uh, automated uh, driving, connected driving, and uh, electrified. So the uh, technology developments in the two-wheeler you can summarize under PACE. What does uh, e-call system, uh, how does it work? What is it actually? And will you like to give a little brief about uh, the security solutions that Bosch is providing? Sure. Uh, e-call is, uh, is basically uh, a platform where you can get networks of uh, partners. Uh, so we are able to provide a digitally enabled platform to our customers uh, with which access to partners could be emergency services, could be information, personalized information on uh, choice of restaurants, uh, choice of other services are enabled through a digital platform. So we are in uh, work with uh, with Daimler as the as the pilot engagement customer worldwide. Uh, we have close to 50 countries, 17 languages. Uh, so this is the platform enabler uh, for a market like India as well. What do you think are the best practices of your company? Well, from a from a mobility perspective, and from, as a as a uh, as a key automotive technology supplier, one of the best practices we have is our ability for system engineering, where uh, we are able to work on a on a super system level, and thereby uh, able to create better subsystems, better components, which is our value proposition to this market. So, how does Bosch interlink uh, smart cars to smart uh, homes and infrastructure? Well, the fact that you have a you have a digital platform going forward, uh, and the fact that you you have your connectivity uh, via your smartphones, uh, will make uh, smartness kind of seamless, right? And uh, it's not it's not a disconnected uh, uh, thing anymore uh, that you have uh, a smartness in mobility and a smartness in your living, so they get intertwined. Um, so we are developing digital platforms which will make this more an experience uh, which is seamless. So you, you have certain platforms helping you drive, uh, helping you to get uh, better mobile, uh, but then you also have seamless interface to how you live. And um, so IoT as a, as a digital platform enables that. So um, the things can be seamless between mobility and between living. So this opens out a lot of possibilities. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thanks.